Each November, Amazon hosts AWS re-event in Las Vegas. The conference brings web developers, business leaders, and CEOs together to talk about Amazon Cloud Services. We're in Las Vegas for AWS re-event. This is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. High performance computing is really about the workloads. It's what you're trying to get done with the computer. Of course, cloud computing is a way to deliver compute. And so some people think they're kind of antithetical or antithetic to each other, but the reality is that cloud is a perfectly good delivery vehicle for the right subset of high performance computing workloads. A lot of people traditionally think of high performance computing in terms of the infrastructure, and then they end up thinking it's a niche with supercomputers. But high performance computing is really the subset of computing that is really computationally intensive. Uh, the product of the computation is some type of intellectual product. It's an insight, it's uh, understanding something in data, it's knowing which way a hurricane's gonna turn after it runs up the shore, right? And then finally, um, high performance computing workloads benefit from aggregation of resources. So when you apply more resources appropriately, you get a more valuable answer. Um, and as you can imagine, there's a lot of things that you could do on a supercomputer, but you could also do in the cloud uh, that fit that description. What do you see in the future of the Amazon Intel partnership? HPC in the cloud is clearly a growing area. Um, it's a big driver of cloud consumption, and so I just, at least in my corner of the world, I'm going to focus on working with Amazon on how do we make it available, democratize this tool, and bring it to the masses. newest processor, the Intel Xeon Scalable Processor. We launched it in July and actually Amazon was on stage with us talking about, yes, this processor delivers 2x the performance in artificial intelligence, but when you optimize the framework for the technologies in the piece of silicon, you can get 100x performance improvement. So when I talk about making technology faster and better and cheaper, that's transformative. And so you're going to see benefits to HPC type workloads, anywhere from 2 to 5x in performance. And just in general, for any workload, customers are going to get a 25 to 50% price performance improvement using the C5 instance, which means, once again, they can move more bigger full power compute into the cloud and do more with it. So it becomes faster, it becomes more capability, and it becomes less expensive for the user? A better total cost of ownership for running these workloads. What happens when those opportunities present itself? Do you see more data being processed or do you see more complex problems being solved? All of the above. <laughs> By the year 2020, there's going to be 50 million devices driving data. Uh, computing's going to happen at the edge. It's going to happen in the data center. Uh, businesses in their own premise are going to be solving problems using the cloud, using the edge. And that is all more and more data and it's more and more problem solving. big computing, bit of a game changer, how so? I think there's two main trends that we're seeing. We're seeing a divergence of architecture out there, and what this means is that new architecture being brought on by world-class leaders like Intel are in a variety of different architectures are leading researchers down the path of choosing the right application and matching it with the right architecture, as opposed to just doing kind of a one-size-fits-all. So we're seeing a divergence in the amount of architectures out there available. And the second is why we're here, it's the cloud, and bringing high performance computing in mass to the cloud. What are some examples of customers that are really knocking this out of the park, that have figured out how to use HPC in the cloud, and why were they successful? One is Boom Technologies, who are developing a supersonic commercial aircraft. And what's an interesting thing is like the end application, right? It's getting people, uh, 40 passengers from LA to Tokyo in five hours as opposed to 12. Through the cloud, they're able to access elastic resources and do things 20 times faster than traditional methods when they're building this aircraft. And that's just, as a startup and new to aerospace, that would have been unthinkable uh, just a couple of years ago. Do you see HPC demands moving from big data, big companies to maybe smaller players moving forward? We've talked so much about machine learning and AI, and to power that, you have huge data sets. So the data sets that we're seeing, both from the IoT edge and, and everywhere else, are, are tremendous and require a lot more computing power. So it's to the benefit of every everyone to have this kind of, what I refer to as an opportunistic HPC, to not just have the high performance computing power, the supercomputer is isolated and very expensive to access, but to figure out ways to 
democratize them and give access to everyone to put their algorithms and, and uh, do their data analysis as fast as possible. You know, there are huge problems that could be solved that way. Anything from hopefully curing cancer to, you know, figuring out what the space station is doing and, and mapping up the space. That's something that I'm very excited about and hope to see a lot more of. I'm Brian Westbrook. This is Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos to stay tuned on the latest in cloud computing, artificial intelligence, HPC, and more. Thanks for watching.